When, I, when God was getting a hold of my heart and made me, directed me to make a decision to step away from one thing, I didn't know the next decision for my life. And I was wondering what to do. And one particular afternoon, I decided, God, I need to get somewhere where you can speak to me so I can get this decision. Because it's going to affect the rest of my life. So I went and did what most men would do in a moment like that. I went and got my golf clubs and went out to the golf course. And there was hardly anybody out at the golf course. In fact, I can't remember seeing anybody uh, at that day for the most part. Got out there, was golfing by myself, got about halfway through the round, and a man walked up to me. I can still remember him right to this day. He had a, a beard, had a, kind of a sandy blonde hair. It didn't look like somebody you see on a golf course. But he had, had his golf clubs with him, and he asked if he could play the rest of the round with me. I was thinking, there's nobody else hardly out here but me and you. Why do you want to have to? I mean, it's not like uh, there's a, a rush, but he wanted to play. And so we got to playing, and as we played hole after hole, we got to talking. And I began to open up the things that I was going through and decisions I was trying to make. And it was like everything that I needed to hear, he began to share with me. Yeah, this is how I dealt with that. This is a decision I made at that point. And it was like everything began to fall together as he began to tell me about all these different ideas and thoughts and ways to approach this. Well, got to uh, the 18th hole and something, uh, he, he putted his ball in the 18th hole and I got down there and he was standing about uh, eight feet away from me and I was lining up my putt and I putted the putt and watched the ball go in the hole and looked in the hole, looked up. He wasn't there. And I looked around in all different directions and it wasn't like there was something within 30 or 40 feet from the, the green, but he was gone. And I look back to that day, realized nobody could physically gotten away that quick. And what he had shared with me at that moment throughout that series of holes that we were playing, that I believe God sent an angel that I needed to be uh, ministered to by. And that is perfectly in line with what we find in Scripture here. And you probably have bumped into them, ran into them. They're not going to be flapping wings when they come up to you, I guarantee you. You're going to entertain them like angels, unaware. Because that is what their purpose is. That is their primary purpose. So believe me, it's happening. Amen. 